everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Her mighty bodies and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Her mighty bodies and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. I was thinking later today we could play in the garden. I just love looking at all the pretty flowers and learning about all the different bugs crawling around. Sounds great, Emma. <sighs> um, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Emma, why are you scratching your arm? Um, no reason, Auntie. Just a little itch. I think something bit me since I have this red circle mark on my arm. Hmm, Emma, can I take a look? Sure, Auntie, but don't take too long. I want to go explore nature. All right, let's take a look. Hmm, well, I think we have our first bug we're going to learn about today. Wait, what? What do you mean, Auntie? Is there a spider on my arm or something? I hate spiders! No, Emma, nothing like that. Oh, thank goodness. You have something called ringworm. What? I have a worm on my arm? But we didn't even go outside yet. I mean, I was playing in the dirt yesterday and I saw a worm. I had no idea it crawled its way all the way up my arm. No, Emma, ringworm is actually not a worm. It's a fungus. Hmm, what's a fungus, Auntie? Hmm, well, a fungus is a plant-like organism. It's in the same family as a mushroom, or like mold that you might see on old bread or a piece of food. All these examples are a type of fungus, or fungi, if it's more than one. Hmm, okay, so my arm is molding like a piece of bread that we left on the counter? Gross! Well, not quite. The reason the bread we left gets moldy on the counter is because it's usually warmer than if we were to put it, let's say, in the fridge. And fungus like warm, moist environments, which is why warm bread or your warm arm grow fungus quite well. And it is usually more common in warmer months. Oh, got it, Auntie. So in the doctor world, we call the ringworm fungus tinea. Hmm, give me a tinea. You sure love your rhyming, Emma. Yep, you got that right. So, Auntie, if it's a fungus, how did it get the name ringworm? Well, that's a good question. The rash left by the fungus is shaped like a ring and someone thought that the ring it makes looks like a worm touching end to end. What do you think? Ooh, I can see that. Hmm, all this talk of rings makes me wonder. Should I wear a gold or a silver ring today? Emma, focus. So, tinea, give me a tinea. <laughs> tinea can be found on many parts of the body and is named something different depending on the location on the body. For example, ringworm on the feet is called athlete's foot or tinea pedis. On the scalp, it's called tinea capitis. And in the beard, in some men, it's called tinea barbae. <laughs> tinea barbae. Let's see if I can make a tinea barbae. What do you mean, Emma? Hmm, let me go over here. I think I saw some cotton over here. Let's see here. <laughs> now I got Tinia Barbe. Very clever, Miss Emma. <laughs> so, Auntie, how did I get ringworm? Good question, Emma. You can get it from a simple touch. Touching other people with ringworm or other body parts with it for that matter. So let's say you have it on your arm. You can actually spread it to your feet 
if you touch your arm first and then you scratch your feet. So you better wash those hands, miss, or keep the area covered with a Band-Aid if you think you might accidentally touch it. Hmm, so I can get athlete's foot from the ringworm on my arm? Yep, you sure can. You can also get it from pets or from touching surfaces, mostly ones that are wet or moist, like a shower. So be sure to wash those hands, and if you're in a public place, like the showers at the beach or a water park, for example, be sure to wear shoes or sandals so you don't get it on your feet. Okay, so now that I have this fungus, how do I get rid of it, Auntie? Please tell me it's not a shot. Nope, it's easy. We just have to use a cream or a powder, depending on the location, for about one to two weeks, and that's it. In really bad cases, we may have to use an oral medication like a pill or a liquid, but that's only if it's all over your body or it's really hard to get rid of. Most of the time, we can just use the cream or the powder. Yes, mine's just on the arm, easy peasy. All right, so let's summarize, Emma. Okay, Auntie, I have ringworm, which is a fungus called Gimia tinea, shaped like a ring. Hmm, I could really go for a ring pop right now. Ooh, or maybe some onion rings. Emma! Oops, okay. Um, and we get it through touch, so we need to wash our hands and wear shoes in wet places. And we can treat it with a cream or a powder. Easy peasy. Great job, Emma. Okay, let me put the cream on you. Let's see what I got over here. Oh, here we go. And now we're gonna cover up the area just in case you accidentally touch it so you don't get any fungus on those feet, which is called what? Athlete's foot. Very good, Emma. All right, let's put a Band-Aid on you. All outside and find some real worms. You got it, Emma. Woohoo! All right. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of